time finally came to upgrade my soldering game. And for years and years, I've been using this bad boy. It's the Weller Professional. So you know it's uh, it's got to be good. It's got professional on it. Shaped like a gun, too. I mean, what can go wrong? And then this little bad boy right here. And this one even has a control knob on it, which I have found completely useless. You either have uh, no heat or burn the house down kind of heat. But all that's over. After watching many videos on the uh, old internets, I discovered Heiko. And what I went ahead and plunked down the money for was the Heiko FX88D. I don't think they could have added any more letters if they tried. And also, you know, I went ahead while I was at it and bought an extra tip. This one's a little bit of a flat tip for all you people out there. All right, comes in a nice box. Good size box, though. Let's see what $91 American buys you. Now you got a manual. Oh, that's fancy. Comes with a nice manual. So, I guess this is the actual business end right here. Um, it does have a tip on it. I wouldn't call it a pointy tip. It's uh, It's got a little bit of a flat spot on it. It's got this uh, gray kind of grip. I'm not sure what kind of material that is, but it feels good. It's not too heavy. That's nice. And there you go. So this is the uh, station right here that I guess it lives in when it's hot. And sounds like, like a cast aluminum kind of thing. It's got pretty good weight to it. It's about three quarters of a pound. Pretty nice. And it comes with a sponge. So the sponge... I believe, believe the sponge goes here. That's for dipping your uh, soldering iron on. And then it has a, a uh, one of those uh, scrubby thing. I don't know what you call it that you use in the kitchen. This, uh, this is definitely a different one. I believe that that just goes in the hole here. Let's stuff it in there. Just like that. I think that is assembled. And this is obviously the flux capacitor of the whole thing. Right there. Wow. That's got a good weight to it, too. That's weighing in at about two and three quarters pounds. It's got a Nice terminal connector. The one question I did kind of have was how long this cord was going to be. You know, a lot of times, you know, I'm, I'm not working at a workbench, um, you know, working on a car or a piece of equipment, a tractor or something. And so you kind of got to drag that thing up to the wiring harness to work on it. So it looks like on the tippy tip. Back to the power unit, I have got 56 inches, and then the cord, cord length is another 56 inches. So that's pretty much what you uh, get coming out of the box. I can't wait to try it out. I'm actually going to be installing a whole new stereo system in my car, so I will get plenty chances to uh, solder some connections together. Thanks.